Hi, this is Jordan Harmon, Compassionate Behaviorist, and I want to talk about dialectics. Dialectics are the D in DBT, Dialectical Behavior Therapy. And I want to talk about dialectics and the Serenity Prayer, which is uh, a prayer that is said for people in the 12-step community in recovery from, from addictions and other compulsive behaviors but they oftentimes open up their meetings or close their meetings with this prayer. And the prayer is, God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. So there's acceptance, serenity to accept, courage to change, and then the wisdom to know the difference between the two. So how does this relate to dialectics? Where Well, dialectics or dialectical thinking um, has roots in Eastern and Western philosophy. In Eastern philosophy, you think of you could think of the yin and the yang, that symbol of opposites coming together. Um, in Western philosophy, you can go back to uh, Hegel and his formulation of a thesis, an antithesis, and then a synthesis. Things coming together to create a third way or a middle path. And so, um, this with the Serenity Prayer, we have acceptance on one hand and change on the other and then the idea of the wisdom to know the difference so this is uh, according to many different theorists and, and Marshall Linehan as one of them uh, this is the basis for the most this is the most important dialectic in psychotherapy the idea of that we as individuals need to feel accepted as we are and our clients if it's a if we're talking about the client in therapy to be accepted as they are and we also need to be able to change things in our life um, and kind of be clear about what those things are and and have that clarity of what things can I change or how do I have power over in my life and what are things that I don't have power over and there are things that to accept and so I really like this kind of uh, framework uh, for for truth itself is that truth is dialectical that's one of the underlying philosophies of this kind of treatment dialectical behavior therapy or dbt truth is dialectical truth is paradoxical that the any, any true statement has inside of it its opposite and there's truth to both statements and so um, acceptance and change are seeming opposites and yet they they find maybe a dialectical synthesis in the phrase the only thing constant is change. So in a sense, um, there's a place where these things come together if we're saying that we're accepting and we're saying the nature of reality is change, is impermanence. That's a place that acceptance and change might come together. Another dialectical pair is the pair of uh, uh, being on one hand and doing on the other. Being would be the kind of just just being in the non-striving, non-acting presence, that being is just enough. And in Eastern and Western contemplative practices, there's a lot of stillness, a lot of sitting, a lot of being and non-acting. And in the Western world, uh, in, you know, we can think of the Protestant work ethic and we can think of our, one of our maybe American national themes would be the Nike slogan, just do it. It's very much... The value is on action and acting and Eastern uh, philosophy and, and Western as well contemplative practices put this value that there's a value also on non-acting or just being. So a dialectical synthesis or balance of figuring out how to balance doing and being um, is encouraged in dialectical behavior therapy. Another pair would be emotions and logic. That um, logic, you know, is is rational. There's cause and effect and there's everything ha is kind of computable and and discernible and we can figure it out logically and on the emotional side it's it's more fluid and more irrational not in a negative sense but just in the sense of emotions are what they are and we don't necessarily need to explain them or to rationalize them that that human beings are not computers that we um, we have the capacity for logic and there's a lot of mystery and unknown about what we feel and how we feel and what drives us. And so being able to honor 
and embrace that we are humans, we're not computers, you know, that we have this emotional side and keep the logic, you know, of planning and looking how these things affect us and balancing that. In DBT, they call that wise mind, when we're balancing the emotion mind and the logical mind. There's a lot of other dialectics you can find out there. It's basically anytime you have things that are opposites and you can find the value or the function in both and you can hold them together. Very helpful concept, uh, a powerful framework to see the world um, and one that you can see mirrored in a lot of religious traditions, spiritual traditions, including the uh, secular traditions like the 12-step the method um, and the serenity prayer. So thanks for checking in. And if you appreciate this video and want more content like unto this, feel free to, you know, put a comment or post in there about what you'd like to see. And we'll talk to you later. Thanks.